Hey, hey, Rising Viber. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today's guidance is brought to you by the beautiful Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards. It is a Colette Baron Reed deck. And if you love it as much as I do, feel free to check out that description box. All of the decks that I use are linked there. Today's card is number 19. And if you take a good look, you can see the hidden face in there. Today's card is pretty easy to find the hidden face. I wouldn't say it's all that hidden in the card, but love finding the hidden things. So if you see it, hit that like button, hit the comment section, let me know about it. Today's card is number 19. Breaks down to an eight for those numerology lovers. It is flexible. And look at that girl on top of that little A. I'm telling you what. Anyways, the essential meanings, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. The Oracle's message. A tree's roots are so solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains su supple and secure when everything around it is in shambles. This is how you need to be, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. The relationship message. If I could say that word right, like the first time, it would be great. The relationship message. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. <laughs> that is corny, but I love it. I'm totally going to use it. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway, y'all. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. The prosperity message. Even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, who will share in it, and what will then be available to you, you still need to relax and open up to other possibilities. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself, this or something better manifests for me now. I like that too. Then be willing to bend a little. Enjoy the miraculous results. The protection message. When you or someone else becomes too rigid, you lose the access to growth and untapped potential and find yourself in an us versus them scenario. Loosen up, open your mind and heart, and see if a more flexible approach feels better. Rigidity will set you up for a fight where there are only losers and no winners. Could you find a way to bring about a result that is mutually beneficial? Meet in the middle. Spirit makes a great mediator. Love it. These cards are so on point with me. For real. Like, I always get kind of, like, stuck in my my ideas. And I have a hard time letting other people have control and whatnot. And I've actually been working on that. So, this is a perfect card for me. If it resonates with you at all. Hit that comment section, hit the like button, let me know. If there's someone that you know might need to hear this message, share it with them. If I could talk right, that would be great too. Anyways, have a good one, y'all.